Hey crafty friends, welcome to Create and Craft, Craftober. This month we are featuring all sorts of free content, projects, inspiration, but today what I wanted to focus on is one of my favorite companies and this is We Are Memory Keepers. This is another addition to their whole punch board line. Now if you know what We Are Memory Keepers, you know that they create amazing engineering and their punch boards allow you to create amazing projects just like like this right here. And in fact, this one is called the Pinwheel Punch Board. So I'm gonna show you how quick, how easy this is to do with just a few steps. Now, the paper that I'm going to be using is from American Crafts. Now, if anybody out there knows me, you know I kind of tend to gravitate, gravitate toward the more vintage colors. When I got this paper pack, I was like, oh wow, it's so bright. I have to tell you, Every paper that I took out was more beautiful, bright, gorgeous than the next. This is going to take you to that tropical paradise. And because you know it is from American Crafts, you know it's quality, it has that great texture, and it cuts like butter with your dyes. And also, they are known for their packaging. So. It comes like this. There will be a little tear tab at the top. So you simply tear that tab as you see I've done here. Now, not only do you have the tropical collection, but it also has its own storage case. So when you have it sitting on your shelf, you know at a first glance what set it is and you can simply pull your papers out. So the packaging becomes storage as well. So we're gonna have some fun and play with some really bright colors today. And my challenge for this video was that I was basically given three products. So we're gonna see what we can do with just these three products. So as I mentioned, we have the Pinwheel Punch Board. We're gonna be working with the amazing American Crafts Tropical Cardstock. And we are going to be working with this. Now, of course, I've opened it up. This is amazing. If you want pinwheels that are actually going to have movement and turn just like this, how cool is that? The mechanism comes with the stick. Now, I've bent the stick. That's a little tip. If you want it to stand up straight in a flower pot, it's going to get a little, a little bit more stability. And also, you can create different uh, lay layers of height. Are you ready to jump in? Let's do this. All right. So, here is your punch board. Now, I am going to do my best to turn it toward you so that you can see it. But the first thing that you're going to do is decide what size of paper you're going to use. I decided to do a seven by seven. So then you're simply going to place it in your punch board and the punch is already built in. So you simply punch just like that, turn it, punch, and essentially what you're gonna do is you're just gonna punch each corner. You don't have to worry about flipping it around. You can keep it all um, on the same side. And then when you have all of the four corners punched, it's going to look like this. Now, there are two separate guides on your punch board, and that is so you can create layered pinwheels. Now, you don't have to do that. However, pinwheel A will be this guide, Pinwheel B will be this guide. And I will show you a couple different ways that you can combine and, and create different types of pinwheels. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it toward me just to get it lined up so I make sure that I have it correctly for you. And then I'll turn it back around and show you. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this around. Right here, you'll notice that it says seven inches. Now you'll remember, remember that was the size that I cut my square down to. And look, it lines up perfectly with the circle as well as the curve. Then you'll simply close the lid. Now I wanna point out to you, this little piece right here, it has a little spike on the end of it. Now what that's going to do, and you might even hear it, when I close this, I'm gonna lay it down, flat, make sure it's all lined up. I'm going to close it, hold everything in place. Did you hear that? It actually will punch the hole, the center in your pinwheel. Now, you won't need to lift this back up again. 
Now, another smart engineering feature of the We Are Memory Keeper tools is the cutting blade actually is stored and housed right on the punch board. So you'll simply lift it out. Now, there are two features on the blade. You'll see the blade and then you see the little round uh, peg. Now the round peg is going to slot into the actual grid and it fits perfectly. So you'll want the blade side out. Then it's as simple as that, you're done. And you, once again, you don't need to pick it up. You just simply rotate it again until you line it up with the seven inch guide. Now, here's a trick and we've had a lot of questions. I've gone online, I've watched uh, We Are Memory Keepers videos. I'm gonna hold this up just because I, I don't want you to feel like you've made any mistake. See how I've turned it and it doesn't exactly match up with the seven inch like it did the first time? Guess what, it's okay. It's really just that first punch that you need it to match up perfectly. So as long as you have the groove and you can kind of see where that, that cutting line, as long as that's in the center, that is what you're gonna be the most concerned about. Quick and easy. Then we're just gonna rotate it again to the next corner, lining it up as closely as possible. And once again, you wanna be more concerned that the, where you're cutting, where that blade is going through the cutting groove, that that is what is lining up. So I'm just gonna put that back in there like that and rotate one more time. And we are about to have our first piece of our pinwheel. Okay, now we're ready to lift and reveal. So simply lift up and there you go. This is the A side of the pinwheel. Now this is where it gets super, super fun. Now if you don't have or you, you know, haven't purchased the attachment, the actual pinwheel mechanism that will allow it to rotate, it's okay, and I'll tell you why. You can simply fold the alternate, at, alternate sides in like this, matching up with that center hole, just like that, and then you can just place a brad, you can tape it, you can do a button, but what I want to show you is how you can combine it to create the project scene here. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to open up your pinwheel mechanism kit, and first thing is you're going to pull out your, it's almost like a paper straw, but it's like a little bit heavier, so you do have some stability there. So there's actually going to be three portions to this. So there you have your straw, you have this piece, which maybe looks like the top of a spray bottle right there, and then you have this, it's a peg, and if you're worried about this, all the instructions are on the back. And then last but not least, you're going to have a cap. So there's actually one, two, three, four. So there's four pieces to this. Now, the first mechanism that you're going to use is the one that looks like this and you are simply going to place that in the back. Then all you need to do is just do alternate sides and just fold those in just like that. Super easy, no measuring, we love that. Okay, so, all right, that's great, we have that, but how are we gonna get that to hold together? Well, We Are Memory Keepers has thought of everything because the next piece that you're going to use is this piece right here, and it actually will just snap right on, and it snaps really uh, quite tight. It's been um, designed to be quite fitted. Now, that piece on the back is where your wand or your straw will just fit right in. So now you have your pinwheel shape like this, but we're gonna add a little bit more to it. Now, of course, it does have that spinning mechanism, but we're gonna bring it all the way, push it all the way in, because we don't want that much of the, the white mechanism showing in the front. So you can kind of see how I'm just kind of pushing that up that way. And of course, once you've done that, it's going to give it more room to spin. Isn't that cool? 
Now, this part right here, it's not very pretty, so guess what? We have a little cap that you can snap right over it if you choose, or you can use it just like this. Now, what I kind of figured out, because once again, this was kind of my crafty challenge. I only had just the paper and the punch, and if I was at home, I would do buttons, I would do glitter, I would do all sorts of things. So here's my top tip that really came out of a place of necessity. I decided to take one of the little end caps, just like this, and I actually dipped it in some ink and used it as a stamp. Um, and I just took a coordinating piece of paper from the Tropical Collection. And I'm just gonna cut it out and use it as my center. Now, if you have enamel drops or if you have um, the little enamel pre-made dots, if you wanna use, I think a button would be darling. Of course, by all means do that. But this was just kind of a quick and easy tip for just doing this with the products that I had. And so you'll see it's going to give me the perfect shape and I'm going to cut that out as perfect as I can with a pair of scissors. Obviously if I was home, I'd use a circle punch to coordinate. So there you go. So that is now going to be my flower center and I already know that it's going to fit perfectly in the middle. So I'm just going to add a little bit of our uh, Create and Craft tape pen. This is your must have in any craft arsenal. And I'm just gonna place that in the center, just like that. Of course, if you have some glassy accents, how amazing would that be? So this is your just quick on the go pro uh, project with basically paper, the punch board, and then of course the turning mechanisms. Now I promised that I would show you a couple different ways. This was just your really basic side a pinwheel. But as you can see, I wanted to just show you a couple different other styles that you can create. If you want to do the A and then do the B and put it together, it's this right here is the look that you are going to achieve. How cool is that? And it does have a little bit of movement so you can kind of adjust it to get of it a little bit more color. So here is a single one. Here's one that has been mixed. And then here's another idea. This is both of these using the side A. I just used a smaller size for the center. And let me just fix the little center of that flower because that looked kind of sad. There we go. So there are just three different ways. Now, if you're wondering what the largest size is that you can do, um, that would be an 11 inch square piece of paper. And that is what you would get with this pinwheel right here. That is gonna be the largest pinwheel that you can create with this. However, what I can't wait to try, and I'm challenging you, I wanna see what you come up with because this goes all the way down to a size three inch square. And when I did one, it looked exactly like a little Christmas bow. I think if you had some Miri board, maybe you do some embossing, you could really come up with some great, great ideas. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and take advantage. Um, I know we're going to be having some great deals coming up on the pinwheel punch board. I know we're going to be having some American craft cardstock. Pick it up because this is great for holiday decor. You can create garlands, gifts for bows, embellishments for cards, and more. 